Hey everybody, it's Carrie of the Now Morning Show and I'm here at the studio of culinary personality Wendy Rahamat and she's gonna show me how she does sorrel for Christmas. Let's go. Carrie. Thanks for having me, Wendy. You're very welcome. Well, you know, Wendy, you know, I boil my sorrel. How do you do yours? Well, I'm a traditionalist and I grew up with my mom actually steeping her sorrel. So I've been doing it that way for years. But of course, I'm sure there's um, a reason why. Why do you boil yours? Well, that's just the way I was taught. When I used to peel sorrel with my grandmother and she would show me how to make sorrel, she would just boil it. So that's what I know. So when you go to, the, to your supermarket or your market and you're getting sorrel, if you hear this, nice cracking sound, then your sorrel is nice and fresh. Crisp, the sepals are nice and fresh. So make sure you get those nice cracky sounds and it's nice crisp sorrel. If they're sort of sticking onto the seed and they're sort of curly and dark, then your sorrel is old. It's gonna give you a lot of trouble to peel and it's not gonna be as flavorful. So let's um let's peel this up now. Yeah, let me help you out over here. Sure. So this is the way I do it as well, you know. My grandma used to have me peeling sorrel and taking them off. Some people cut it with a knife. The seeds actually got some little prickly things that kind of gets into your fingers as well. That's right, and some people boil them with the seeds. I was wondering if these little spines would end up in your stomach. Probably they do, so um, I wouldn't advise that you actually boil it with the seed. I think maybe it's a good idea, a better idea to take it off the, um, off the seed. But you know it's Christmas time and people from around the world want to enjoy sorrel, which That's is right. also known as hibiscus, by right. the way. Um, and it originated in West Africa. A lot of these um, tropical uh, delicacies, fruits, originate in that part of the world when uh, the Caribbean was colonized actually. A lot of people go for the dehydrated sorrel. That's right, I guess it would be a little bit easier for them to use that, but give me the fresh any day. Yeah. Okay, Carrie, so we're steeping our sorrel today, so you want to go ahead and add the spices? All right, so I'm going to add some cinnamon and some cloves here. Right. And what do I do next? Go ahead and add some boiling water. All right. Tell me when, Wendy. Mm, keep, keep going. You just want to just submerge it, but you don't want to drown it. So I think that's good. So Carrie, my method is steeping. Tell us how you boil your sorrel. So I start off pretty much the same way I peel the sorrel and then I add the spices to the pot. But then I top it up with water, similarly to this, and then put it on the stove and I boil it for about two hours. So when I'm steeping my sorrel, this is the point that I would cover it up and leave it on my counter for about three days. Three whole days? Yeah, and then it's ready to go. Okay, Carrie, so moment of truth. My sorrel was steeped for three days. I think it was even four days. You see, I've just strained it out. See the gorgeous And look color. at the color, right? Beautiful. And really and truly, this comes because the sorrel was really very fresh. And you know there's black sorrel and white sorrel too, yes. right? I prefer the red sorrel because I like the balance of the sour in it. What about you? Yeah, I prefer the red sorrel as well. You know, give me the traditional. Anyway. Yeah, I don't think the black has a lot of flavor. It just got a lot of color. But this is our red sorrel. And of course, I sweeten with simple syrup. How really? about you? I sweeten with sugar. Okay. Well, let's try the simple syrup and tell me what you think. All right, let's go. So simple syrup is basically sugar and water that you boil. In equal parts. And you leave it. And then you just um, sweeten. So this way you don't have to add sugar or um, water to dilute the sorrel any further right. if you think it's a little strong. So there we go. And then we want to put a little bit of aromatic bitters in there because that really marries well with the spiciness of the sorrel right now. So I think that's good. You know what Wendy, I think I like your method because there seems to be less trouble involved. You don't have to stir here for a long, yeah. long time to dissolve the sugar. And of course you can't go wrong with some bitters. Let me check and see if you like it. And just the aroma coming off this already, I'm excited. <laughs> Great. Merry Christmas. Let's see how it tastes. All right. That is good, Wendy. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.